Some people golf for fun. Others might go boating. Dr. Donald Sebesta's lifelong hobby, you know, we can go through here, has been something else entirely. This is everything in Africa that you can hunt legally over the last 30 years. And we hunted it and collected it, saved everything. With the help of his wife, Sandy. Sandy put 60 in here and I put the rest. This 84-year-old surgeon has filled this room and nearly a dozen more dioramas with hundreds of animals hunted all over the world. And every one of them has a story. This elephant is a giant elephant, a good elephant. He had lost all his teeth and couldn't eat, so he was losing weight, but he's a beautiful elephant, and he was getting ready to die. These are the kind of stories the Sebesta couple would share with the neighborhood children, who three to four times a week would knock on the door to see their trophies. My wife said to me, We're, this is dumb. Let's build a real museum. Right off I-90 in Ritzville, you'll find the 25,000 square foot Lasting Legacy Wildlife Museum. It opened in 2018. Sandy and I are a unique couple because we are constantly looking at what we can put there. What, what other animals there are, what kind of animals we should be looking for. I'm visiting on a day the museum's closed. So it's just Don, myself, and all of these quiet animals frozen in time. Some, like this golden taken, and this bear cat I'd never seen before. Their scent is like popcorn. Wait, they smell like popcorn? Yeah. There's a two-story exhibit dedicated to the many wild sheep and goats Don tracked at elevations up to 13,000 feet. A lot of memories. Memories like the time this alligator came after his boat in a Louisiana bayou. And his head is that long, and the, all of, he could just say, shoot him. And it was right there, I just, he stood up on his tail. Don and Sandy plan to record their stories. The museum will go into a trust as a lasting tribute to the world's animals. As for those who are against hunting, or against hunting at this scale. We just tell them we hunt. You want to look at it? Come on up. And what you'll see is one of the wildest wonders in the state of Washington.